before we dig into why I'm not a fan of TypeScript, let me give you some context. Not about TypeScript itself, but about me. I started my career writing C++, complex syntax, long compile times, but hey, good productivity if you didn't mind living at your desk. Then came Java, simpler syntax, fewer foot guns, and noticeably better productivity. But when I found Python, that was it. No build scripts, no compile times, just flow. My brain could stay in gear. I was shipping features fast and clean with syntax that actually helped. For front end, I leaned on Django templates and web standards. No drama, no problem. Then the frameworks arrived. Suddenly I had to keep switching contexts from jQuery to Angular to Angular 2, then React, then Svelte, then Next.js. Like speed dating, but with worse documentation. With every switch, the time cost grew. Build systems got heavier, tool chains more fragile. Eventually it felt like I had looped all the way back to the dark days of C++ make files and hour long coffee breaks waiting for the build to finish. Right when I thought we'd reached peak complexity, TypeScript showed up, offering me something I never asked for. Static types in JavaScript. Types in JavaScript are like comments on YouTube videos, entertaining when they exist, but completely ignored by the runtime. Let's look at the life cycle of your TypeScript code. Number one, we have the TypeScript layer. This is the part where we feel smart. We write code like, feels like we're building something solid. But when you compile, gone. This is what your browser actually sees. No types, no guards, and arguably cleaner to read and write. The JavaScript engine is where the real magic happens. Modern JS engines like V8 use hidden classes, inline caches, and runtime profiles. It's kind of like machine learning, but for your spaghetti code. They watch your code run. They look for patterns and they optimize based on guesses. Finally, at the lowest level, the machine code, there are no types, no interfaces, no helpful error messages, just raw instructions like this. If this whole process feels a little unhinged, that's because it is. Let's recap. We add types in TypeScript so that we can feel safe. Then the compiler strips them all out. The JavaScript engine tries to guess them back in using pattern recognition and runtime profiling. Plot twist, the engine itself is written in C++, so it's back to strong static types. Just not for your code, for its own safety. And finally, everything turns into machine code where there are no types at all. It's like writing a grocery list, translating it into Latin, erasing half of it, asking your dog to infer the rest, and then having a medieval scribe copy it into stone for performance. So why do we use TypeScript at all? Simple, TypeScript exists because people exist. People are messy. People forget things. People need things to do while they sit at their desks all day. Types can help us talk to each other. But TypeScript isn't for computers, it's for the humans trying to guess what data means in a code base that's 12,000 lines long and hasn't been touched since 2015. TypeScript is for people who enjoy enhanced tooltips in VS Code. TypeScript gives TDD coders a reason to exist. But let's not confuse the map for the territory. TypeScript is a tool for the people writing code. It's not part of the runtime. JavaScript engines don't read your type annotation. They don't care about your interface. They're working behind the scenes like this. So next time someone tells you TypeScript makes your code safer, just remember, only until it runs. After that, it's you, the runtime, and whatever you forgot to check. So why is it that I haven't personally enjoyed TypeScript? Well, to me, it just introduces visual clutter. I find myself fighting with linters about issues that are not actual issues for the runtime. It requires a transpiler, and I didn't ask for it. I can use it any if I want. Screw 